putting these kids to work. I'm helping daddy. You're helping daddy? Whoa. You're a good helper, huh? Carrying stuff to the stage. Never too young to start serving. Hey, teamwork makes the dream work, guys. Look at this crew. Boom. Yeah, get it, Cassidy. Oh, yeah. Let's see your moves, Luke. What? Come on. Tim will dance. Yeah. See? So, be ruthless all out, man. If there is a tie, if there is a tie, we go to the over-the-top arm wrestling match. Oh, it's going to be so good. Our five, five categories today are TV, dance, big explosion action stuff, my personal favorite, in the cage with Nicolas Cage, potpourri, and sports. All right, we're going to start with you, Joshua, all the way down there. What category would you like to select? In the cage with Nicolas Cage. Yeah. Name the following Nicolas Cage movie. In order to foil an extortion plot, an FBI agent undergoes a facial transplant surgery and assumes the identity and physical appearance of a terrorist. Write your answers down. Periodically, I might throw in a good dad joke so to kick it off. Why did the scarecrow win an award? because he was outstanding in his field. Yeah. All right, can we see your answers? Dads, we got face-off. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, uh, face-lift. Face <laughs> the library. Yeah, that, that's his other face-off. We got one, one, and one. All right, so we got a three-way tie. All right, Chris, pick your category. Television dads, all right. Right here, here we go, TV dads. What is Tim Allen's wife's first name in the show, Home Improvement? Oh, the, the wheels are churning, the wheels are churning. I asked my dad for his best dad joke. He looked at me and he said, you. All right, do we have an answer? You have five seconds left, write something down. All right, on the count of three, let's reveal your answers. One, two, three. Becky, Felicia, Mart, Mart, Patricia, it's Patricia Heaton, but not a real name, and, and Mary. No, the correct answer, anybody know it? Jill! Jill! Jill was the correct answer. Jill. No, but thanks for trying to cheat there. All right, Ed, select your category. Okay, big explosion action stuff. What is the only restaurant to survive the end of the world in the movie Demolition Man? What is the only <laughs> restaurant to survive the end of the world in the movie Demolition Man? Hey, why did the Clydesdale give the pony a glass of water? Because he was a little horse. <laughs> Keep them coming all day long, guys. All right. Taco Bell, McDonald's, <laughs> five plus di diner, okay. Uh, the Krusty Krab, <laughs> no, Burger King and McDonald's. Taco Bell is the correct answer! <laughs> Two points for Joshua is now search to the lead. Ryan. <laughs> Potpourri. All right, Potpourri. This man is widely considered the father of medicine. Oh, yeah, that's a real question, guys. This man is widely considered the father of medicine. <laughs> okay, here's another joke. James, I won't buy, uh, I wouldn't buy anything with Velcro, you know why? It's a total rip-off. Oh, that's right, that's right. Do we have answers? The father of medicine. All right, let's reveal your answers on three, one, two, three. Jim, Hanson, God, <laughs> Dr. Oz, Dr. Scholes, and Dr. Phil. No, 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 no. Hippocrates. Hippocrates. 
You have to get a little intellectual there. Okay, so you're selecting sports, right? That's sports. All right, sports. Every guy needs to know sports, so let's see. We're gonna mix it up a little. Name the figure skater whose husband allegedly attacked Nancy Kerrigan at a practice session several weeks before the 1994 Winter Olympics. Bonus points if you can name the figure, uh, name the person who won gold that year. Name the figure skater who won gold. Bonus points. Name, name, the, the, name the skater whose husband allegedly, it's no alleged, she attacked. And he and that. No, you don't have to know the husband, just the figure skater. The figure skaters. Okay. A three-legged dog walks into a bar and says to the bartender, I'm looking for the man who shot my paw. Oh! <laughs> Guys, that was good. That one's my favorite. Come on. That was good. All right. Any of you? You got answers. I'm giving you 10 seconds. Give them a 10, 10 second countdown. 10, 9, 9 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, why are they right? We should give these guys markers. All right, let's see your answers. We have Nancy Kerrigan, no, Kim Kardashian, and bonus was who? Kwan, okay. Smith and Michelle Kwan, no. Tonga Harding is correct. What do you got? Okay, and just so you know, the one who won gold, anyone know? Not Yamaguchi. Not Yamaguchi. by who? All right. Okay, so. Let's give it up for Ed, Ryan, and Ivan. Come on, give them a round of applause. Josh and Chris are going to over the top. They are enemies. On the count of three. One, two, three. Come on, make some noise. Dump in the trash. Make sure we leave it nice and clean for them. And the rest of the beast. So we are grilling tonight. Get some ribs. Ooh, baby, smell that. Oh, good. We will uh, let you know how they turn out. It's the first time we've ever made ribs on a grill, so hopefully we can figure it out. Thanks to Ivan giving us the grill and Chris's instructions. I think we'll be good. So right now, uh, Chris's instructions say to go ahead and flip these bad boys over for the first time. So we're gonna do just that. Let's see if we can get a grip on these bad boys. Oh. A little char going on. Mm -hmm. So they look a little burnt. Hopefully I'm not messing these up. It kind of looks like I am. Maybe eating McDonald's tonight. We'll see. So right now, I have currently lost my ring. I never, ever, 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 ever take my ring off. I literally don't remember taking my ring off here today. I don't know if I fell asleep and it came off. And I put it on the coffee table. We are now tearing everything apart in an effort to find my ring. It's not expensive, but it is meaningful. So hopefully we can find it here soon. Luke and Josiah my finding crew right now. So, 
Zoe got up. She slept till almost six o'clock. She's mm -hmm. been exhausted, so we just let her sleep. And uh, what'd you find, sweets? Yummy. Where was it? In the bedroom. In our bedroom? Where in our bedroom? Can I see it? Um, on your little desk. On my nightstand? Mm -hmm. I literally don't remember putting it there, so. Thank you so much, sweetie. Good job. <laughs> so we've given up the grill. <laughs> Ivan, Chris, I'm sorry. You have to come teach me some of your ways. We are now just going straight oven. Hopefully they still taste good after I messed it up. So they'll be in there for a while. So this girl Adina slept till like six o'clock tonight. Like, I don't know, two thirty or three to six. She's tired. Look at that hair. She's so cute. And those are some my hero me. Then my little mom, then my boy on party, then my wife She cut your hair? Uh huh, then my wife did. Oh, were you tired? Yeah. Yeah. Take a good nap, huh? Yeah, my dad's in my room. In your room? So right now they are playing soccer. They like to play this often. <laughs> They're probably going to break stuff, to be perfectly honest, but they really No! Oh, go! <laughs> and then we put the ball across the midfield line into the girls save the ribs. They look really good. There's one. We've got some scalp potatoes going on. Here's some of the ribs. It smells really, really good. Wait to dig into this. How are the ribs, Josiah? Yeah. Tasting yeah. good. He's hearing it in the back. Did you know when I when I did you know when I when I grow up and I'll be a parent, Dad's gonna be Grandpa. Boy, she's already talking about Grandpa. That's I don't need to talk about this. You told me. That's your kid. That's gonna be your your kid. <laughs> we had a good day today. It was Sunday, Father's Day. Lots of fun at church. Yep, we did some rad dad trivia. Did some uh, lame dad jokes, but they were so good. Why did the scarecrow win an award? Why? Because he was outstanding in his field. Ah! <laughs> hey, oh. <laughs> That's right. It was a good day. Enjoyed a little nap. Thank you for letting me get a nap in today. And uh, the kids were, for the most part, pretty sweet and uh, <laughs> made me some gifts there at church, too. I got three chocolate bars. Bonus perk of having a bunch of kids. Uh, went and attempted to grill some rib ribs, as you saw, and that did not go so well. But Carol saved them very well. They, did, they were really good in the oven. Thank still. You. Josiah just kept raving about how great they were, and I yeah, thought they were really good, too. he ate, like, five or six. He ate a lot. They're delicious. I ate a lot, too. So <laughs> thankful for the kids. Thankful for you, babe. Oh, Love you. you. It was a good Father's you. Day, and uh, very thankful to have five sweet kids, five good kids. Uh, they're crazy and wild, but uh, <laughs> there's nothing like being a dad, and so um, I wouldn't trade it for the world. No. Let's Anything see. else you want to say? I love you. I love you too. <laughs> All right. Well, have a good night. Uh, we will show you a little bit more from Monday as well. So make sure to stay tuned and check that out. Bye.